a few of you have asked where the magic happens and this is my guest bedroom little desk setup and it was made a thousand times easier when Arteza contacted me and they said we've got some new things on our site do you want to pick out anything to try out and uh, I was browsing through everything and I saw these colored pencils and I was immediately like yes I want to try these because I um, this is a humongous set of colored pencils, and I will show you more in my journaling. We're going to do some stuff today. Um, but all of my colored pencils have been extracted into different locations by my kids, especially now that we're homeschooling. <laughs> it's worked their way into their school supplies. Um, and the other thing that I saw was um, organization things, uh, which was really the perfect opportunity since I had just moved up here. Now this blue tray is mine that was um, on my desk downstairs. And then I ordered this set of desk organization, um, desk organizer set, excuse me. And I have this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, uh, up here on my desk helping me sort stuff out and then I had these up here in my cart as well but then they got relocated downstairs into the homeschool office area so this desk organizer set has been really really handy now that we're all like I moved my stuff and we've got tons more papers and things to organize in our homeschool space so if you're looking for a way to organize all the packets of paper and stuff that you're getting in that arena for your kids and just your own home office, I really like these. The quality is really great. Um, I've enjoyed it. Now this I know is supposed to be for like sticky notes, which are right here, but I'm using it to hold my little um, sticker flakes so that I remind myself to use them. And then the tiered shelf is back here holding things of stickers that I want to remind myself to use, sticker books. Um, and then of course my Just Put a Heart On It mug and my candle and stress um, roll on stuff. And this is a business card holder that I actually flipped over because I don't have a business card. And I just put this little um, journaling card uh, on it that I got in happy mail because I love it. And this is my happy place. And then these, uh, I'm just keeping some scissors and stuff that I use for journaling um, in that little thing. And then of course my pen caddy. And then the last thing that I saw that I thought was epically amazing were these magnetic baskets. Sorry, I bumped it so they're falling. My purple cart, you know, I got from Michael's and I love it, and I moved it up here um, when I relocated my stuff, and then it's kind of like my mini journaling area. And when I saw these baskets on the website, they're magnetic organizer baskets. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe those will clip onto my cart. You guys, they do, and they are in insanely amazing, and I want to order more of them. I want to order another box of them because it's awesome. It is so awesome. I stick them on the front and they have like my washi tape, washi samples. And then these are little sticker samplers that people have sent me that I want to use in my um, little bullet journal. So I would highly recommend those. Um, and then, you know, I've got my real brush prints that my blah, 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 real brush prints that they sent me a while ago and I have those up there that I use um, and then the colored pencils it's such a big tin I've been keeping them down here and this stuff is still <laughs> things that you guys sent me I need to organize and go through so that is what my cart looks like and my little desk area and it's just gotten so much better with all my Arteza supplies that they sent me so I wanted to share that stuff with you guys. I'll have links below. Um, they are affiliate links. They didn't pay me to make this video or anything like that, but they did send me um, the products of my choice. And, you know, it was up to me whether I wanted to kind of 
you know, tell you about them. So, um, but I do, I love them. Um, especially these baskets are amazing. And I think that the organizer things, it's the perfect timing for stuff like that because of all the things that have moved home. We're all out of home offices and home schools now. So the organization is um, important. So now I'm just gonna show you guys my regular old journaling and let's use some new colored pencils. Hey everybody, so today is April 21st and I am journaling in my A5 Hobonichi Cousin Avec. And first I was getting out my collage baskets and kind of sorting through those. And I knew I wanted to do some doodling and coloring with my new Arteza color pencils. So I pulled out my uh, doodling books, which I'll show you as well. So I decided today that I would take the bull by the horns and uh, use one of my Arteza, not Arteza, I'm sorry, one of my Tombow um, brush pens to try and hand letter. So there we go. I used one of the um, Tuesday day of the week stickers that is hand lettered to kind of copy. Hand lettering is really hard for me unless I have something to look at. Um, I'm good at copying if I can look at things. Same with like doodles and drawings. If I have something to look at, I can do it. Uh, but from the old noggin doesn't work so well. So I actually think it looks quite cute. I like how it turned out. And then I use my Pigma Micron in pink to do a little drop shadow on the letters. So um, basically you just picture a light shining from one side of your paper and you um, highlight or you trace along the sides of the letters that um, the light wouldn't hit, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, I am just picking out some of my collage materials and I really loved that tulip. It was just such a beautiful, beautiful day yesterday. It's Wednesday today, but this was uh, yesterday, Tuesday. So I cut out that tulip, just reminded me of spring, and then those little um, stickers, I never know what to call them. Uh, you can find them on Amazon, I believe. Um, I think at the bottom it says Pony Brown, there I'm showing you, um, or Honey Bee Village. I'm not really sure what you search to find them, um, but it's like a little girl and then a bee costume. It's so funny. And then I was also using some of um, other animal ones that I was sent in um, Happy Mail. And they're supposed to represent Addie, who was really huffy yesterday morning. <laughs> Real huffy. And um, her brother, which is the duck in the headphones, just kind of hanging out. And then the rabbit with the tie on is supposed to be Michael. And I used a little to-do flag from one of my American Crafts uh, Season sticker books. Showing you right there. And then um, some other planner stickers I was sent from somebody that I have out on my desk. Um, and I'm using them in my little um, passport bullet journal. And I'm just writing Lakeview Academy because that's just what we named our little home school at the kitchen table. <laughs> and uh, this was the part that I was most excited about is um, I wanted to doodle some spring pictures and then use uh, my new colored pencils to color them in. So I am, uh, the first ones that I do are from How to Draw Almost Every Day, an illustrated source book. And it says Com Camo, Camo. I don't know if that's the author or who it's by. I ordered these on Amazon a long time ago. And this one is by far my favorite. It's the style that I like best. And they're really um, simple. So these were from um, some spring you know, doodles. And so I wanted to do some flowers and a bird, um, especially because I don't know, you guys heard the other day when I was ripping stuff out of my book, the birds are chirping outside my window. Um, cause I'm not in the dungeon basement anymore. So <laughs> I just love to hear the birds chirping outside my window. So I thought that was absolutely perfect. Um, it was just such a nice day. Uh, I had to go to work, but my kids and my husband spent a lot of it outside, which, um, I know it made them very happy. And let's see, what else am I drawing? Oh, that little dandelion. Uh, I don't think he's a dandelion down in the corner. Um, these little doodles are just so doable. 
On the other book, I would try to do, draw a scooter from How to Draw Almost Everything. It's in the same line of books, and I do really enjoy this book, but there are, it's a little bit more like realistic uh, doodles, which is not my forte, as you can tell with the scooter. <laughs> And then the point of all of this was to play with my new colored pencils that um, Arteza sent me. Um, these are 120 colored pencils expert. Um, artist quality, 4 millimeter lead, break resistant, blendable, acid free. You guys, these are gorgeous. I've never had something so luxurious as these colored pencils. And look at all these colors. If that doesn't make your heart sing, I don't know. You must be the devil. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I, and granted, I'm not an artist. So the extent of my experience with colored pencils is like a 12 set from Crayola. So I, I don't know a lot. But what I do know is that these are really pretty. Um, the colors are super, super vibrant. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but they're so bright. Um, I'm going to have to hide them from my kids so that they don't steal them from me because I absolutely love them. And the tin is pretty cool with the big owl eyes. <laughs> um, I don't know how to store them, what the best way would be, because I don't know how practical it is to do the trays every time I want to color, but, but then it looks so nice like that. And then I can find colors easily. So I don't, maybe they do know what they're doing since they are uh, an art company. <laughs> um, so anyways, the little flowers, I was just doing my own thing. I don't know how to blend. So I was just kind of doing fun colors. And I just like my journal pages to be bright and cheerful. And, and that's all I want out of them. Um, especially these days, it's more um, kind of memory keeping of our days. Um, then it is like pouring out my innermost angst and turmoil. Um, I do that sometimes in my journal, but, um, a lot of times it's just like in the way of, I was feeling this way this day, and maybe this is what I did. Um, this isn't really a journal where I do that. Um, I don't really have a journal where I do that. Um, I don't know, maybe I should. Um, but this one is just more of like my happy memory keeping, um, a lot of times I work through stuff like that by doing some art journaling and quotes more than like writing what it is that I'm really, you know, upset about. I don't know. I guess I never really thought about it before. Um, that was a tangent, <laughs> but I drew some music notes outside the little birdie and, um, I don't even know if those are actual music notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, music is not my forte either. <laughs> my husband was just teaching the kids this morning. They were working on a little music like session, um, about reading music and it was all Greek to me. I do not have any experience in that arena. I tried a lot of instruments and failed at a lot of instruments. <laughs> the piano, the clarinet, the violin. <laughs> oh, what else? I, it's just not my thing. I can't do it. Well, I'm sure I could, but I don't like to practice. See, that's, that's the sticking point right there. Um, and let's see. Oh, I put in some stickers. Um, I wanted to record that Michael had a conference call and his office is m most likely going to open, open, open back up on May 4th, which, um, is scary yet. I have mixed emotions. I mean, it's good he needs to get back to work, but also we want to be safe and we want other people to be safe. So I'm not sure. You know, guys, it's just such an unsure time. So many feelings. Um, and then I was just writing about the day and what the kids did and um, that conference call. And then I put in that little girl uh, with the headband because I had to go to work. And, um, we're wearing these headbands now. Oh, and now we've adopted these like total hair coverings. I'll have to insert a picture because of course mine is a vintage floral <laughs> and it's, it's pretty funny. I look, I look pretty funny in it. Um, but I, I love the pattern. So I just rock it like, like I don't care. <laughs> and the plus side is I never wash my hair anymore. <laughs> So my personal hygiene is taking a real hit, <laughs> but that's okay. 
Uh, and then I'm sticking in pig and cat stickers um, for work. And um, let's see, I put in a little five with a nursing hat because it was actually my fifth day in a row at work, which is unheard of for me. Um, and I'm tired. And the little pig watering a little plant down at the bottom. Oh, my, they're so cute. I'm obsessed with these stickers lately, even more than usual. Uh, and then some little stacked up coffee cups. And there's my daughter. <laughs> And um, that is pretty much, I think, the extent of what I stick in there. And then I'm taking my uh, mild liner and adding more hearts. As if this wasn't busy enough already, I think that it could also, you know, stand to have some hearts on it. So that is my journaling for today, uh, yesterday, April 21st. And um, I'm so happy that you guys uh, watched. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in those Arteza uh, things that I talked about, um, then click on the links below. Like I said, they are affiliate links. Uh, but I do really enjoy all of these products. I think they're awesome. So uh, give them a check out if you're interested. And I will be back with you again soon with more journaling and planning. So I hope you guys are hanging in there and making the best of it. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.